The Ontario Civilian Police Commission has concluded its investigation into senior members of the Thunder Bay Police Service and the full details are now being revealed about the charges against suspended Chief Sylvie Hoth. The media release from the OCPC shows Hoth will face a hearing in February on charges of discreditable conduct and deceit. Vasilios Bellos reports. The OCPC investigation was ordered because of allegations against Chief Sylvie Hoth and Deputy Chief Ryan Hughes for their actions in an internal investigation of police board member George Ann Morisot over alleged breach of trust. It was found that there was no wrongdoing by Morisot, but that wasn't the case for Hoth, as the OCPC announced in June that she must face a disciplinary hearing for alleged misconduct. The full details have now been released, confirming that Hoth will face one police act charge of discreditable conduct and one charge of deceit. Hoth's five-day hearing is tentatively set for next February. She previously announced her plans to retire, effective June 2023. She was suspended by the police board soon after that, when the OCPC substantiated the misconduct allegations. Depending on the adjudicator's findings, Hoth could potentially face a range of consequences, including dismissal. As for Deputy Chief Ryan Hughes, the OCPC found none of the allegations against him are substantiated, but he remains suspended due to an internal investigation by city police. The OCPC also looked into allegations of collusion by Hoth, Hughes, and city police lawyer Holly Walborn, but those claims could not be substantiated. The OCPC also recommends deferring a full inquiry into the police force until a new chief is hired and new police board members are appointed. Finally, the OCPC is extending Malcolm Mercer's role as administrator of the local police board until March 30, 2023. He was initially appointed to his six-month term in April, and currently has the sole decision-making power on the board. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.